Alright guys, so we just got hinted the next campaign to come out for Dragon Ball Legends and I'm not gonna lie, I am pretty excited because we could be seeing characters like Ultra Super Saiyan 2 Team Gohan as well as Heat Dome Trunks perhaps or maybe a brand new Final Flash Vegeta now. Of course, all these characters have something in common and it's the fact that they all fall under the Cell Saga. Now, a lot of you guys might be disappointed the fact that we're gonna get a Cell Saga, you know, uh, campaign next. But don't forget that the last campaign that we got for Cell Saga was actually pretty short. It wasn't really a full campaign, but we're going to get to that in just one bit. Now, if you guys do enjoy the video, as always, make sure you guys simply just like and subscribe. But let's not waste any time, guys. So basically, it's very self-explanatory. Dragon Ball Legends is notorious for leaving out cryptic messages behind. Now, they pretty much just announced a new unique equipment coming uh, for a non-Legends Limited character sparking, which is something that they typically do. Now, um, these are always cryptic messages as of late as well, and not because of the colored background, but because of the effect of assets of characters. For example, okay, um, you guys, it's very hard to tell actually, but you guys can see like these black suede uh, ink brushes, like kind of like spikes in a way. Um, people in the community try to find out where this is coming from and it actually is coming from Final Flash Vegeta. This is Final Flash Vegeta's, um, you know, uh, you know, uh, assets, background asset effects for the ink brush. So, um, Final Flash Vegeta is this one, by the way, guys, the, uh, the very old one, the Zenkai one, right? From, from the Cell Saga. So this is actually, uh, a pretty good sign, man. I was hoping for a Cell Saga, and by the way, a lot of people did, did predict a Cell Saga campaign, but before we, before we push forward with the Cell Saga campaign. I do want to say this, it's not a thousand percent confirmed yet, but this is the asset from Super Vegeta. And of course, you know, he's from the Cell Saga. So we're just puzzling things together here, guys, okay? Now, by the way, comment down below, which character would you guys love to see from the Cell Saga? I have a great list of characters that, that I really want to see. Starting off, of course, with Super Saiyan 2 Team Gohan, but the thing with this character is, guys, we have Beast Gohan running around and he's still the best character in the game, honestly. like. He really is. Like, the fact that he could just one-shot somebody is pretty ridiculous. So, if we just paired these two up together, if this character comes out, um, it would be pretty broken. But I will say this, okay? I will say this, that um, Vegeta has been extremely neglected as an individual character in Dragon Ball Legends as of late. Um, of course, we did just get the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku Tag Evolution Vegeta, but they're, they're a tag unit, right? I'm just talking about individual units. Um... Well, technically speaking, we did get the Zenkai 8 Vegeta, which is quite good. But I'm talking about new characters. Um, so a Final Flash Vegeta would be absolutely amazing. So I have like three options for the next LF or Ultra because they could be coming out with either or. Or they could be coming out with both as well, right? And I'm going to show you guys when this is going to come out as well. So my options are pretty simple. And I'm pretty sure it's your guys' options too, okay? Which is going to be Super Saiyan 2 Team Gohan. Of course, we got Final Flash Vegeta. And then we also got Heat Dome Trunks. If we just pull up the Cell Saga um, tag that we have right now. Heat Dome Trunks is part of it, of course. Now, there's not much, honestly, to go off of here. There's also a, a ton of other cool characters. Such as, um, you know, Super Saiyan uh, Instant Transmission Goku. This one it would be absolutely amazing. I would also like a new TN, perhaps. Uh, TN is another one, but um, honestly, maybe a first form Cell, of course, because Cell is it's the Cell Saga, so I'm assuming we would get a big bad, right? So either a Cell, or, the, or they can also combine it with the Android Saga, perhaps. Maybe, I don't know, they could do something, right? But, uh, but it's going to be quite tricky, honestly, like another Cell, like as the big bad, or they could just not even bring out a powerful opponent character for this campaign. They could bring out an Android 18, but yeah, I mean, honestly... The last campaign that we had for the Cell Saga ran a bit short, of course. We ended up getting this green uh, Super Saiyan Gohan. Of course, the free-to-play Android 18 and the Cell Junior and, of course, the Perfect Form Cell. Now, I will say this once again, second time in this video. It's not confirmed that we're going to be getting a Cell Saga campaign just yet. All that we know is that Hydro's pretty much just got the assets um, from, of course, Super Vegeta. And he slapped it on top of this image right here, as you guys can see. It's literally on top. And it perfectly matches uh, bar for bar. So, um, Super Vegeta, you know, I mean, he, he can only hold so many tags. It could be a Vegeta clan campaign, I guess. It could be a Super Saiyan campaign. It could be a Cell Saga campaign. It doesn't need to be a Cell Saga campaign, guys. It could be, like I said, a Super Saiyan campaign or a Vegeta clan campaign. They could do something like that, right? 
If it's a Vegeta Clan campaign, they could do some interesting stuff, bring out a few Trunks characters, right? They could bring out, there's plenty of Trunks characters and Vegeta characters they could play with. And then they could slap on a Super Saiyan campaign alongside with that as well. So that would be pretty cool. Actually, a Super Saiyan campaign would be pretty cool, honestly. Like a straight up Super Saiyan campaign buff, that to me would, and then like make a brand new Super Saiyan tag actually like worthy of using, you know? Because this Vegeta here actually buffs Super Saiyan uh, with his normal Z ability. You guys see 25% attack, Super Saiyan, base blast, and critical attack uh, damage during battle. Which is actually a really good uh, base Z ability. And of course, with his uh, Zankai Z ability, he buffs Yellow and Saiyans. And I actually forgot what he does. I don't think this equipment is going to do too much for him, honestly, guys. Um, I, wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't really rely on this equipment, but um, I think he has a chance to faint, does he? Uh, let's see here. No, he doesn't. He didn't even have a chance to faint. But this is all of his abilities right here, pretty much. It's not it's not much, honestly, but uh, he's a Zankai. He's okay. He's a blast. He's a range type unit. And we're getting Ash. As a matter of fact, we are getting a ton of range type units lately. So once again, this could be a Cell Saga campaign. This could be a Super Saiyan campaign uh, because of the, the Final Flash Vegeta. Or as well as it could be, um, obviously, other choices, such as a Vegeta Clan campaign. But Vegeta Clan, there's not too much to go off of, honestly. Like, we have, I mean, there's a lot of trunks and there's a lot of Vegeta varieties. But it would be, you might as well just call it a Vegeta and trunks campaign, you know, instead of Vegeta Clan. That, that's pretty much what it is, right? Um, but I would love more trunks in the game. Heat Dome trunks is something I would like to see. Um, I think Heat Dome trunks, honestly, is worthy of an LF. I think it's one of the coolest moves in all of Dragon Ball. It's just super, not only does it have a cool name, but it's honestly like one of the cooler. I would say. I mean, do you guys disagree with me on this one? Like the Heat Dome Trunks, where he takes on Cell, first form Cell. It's actually pretty cool, man. But uh, but yeah, I mean, honestly, just it's it's a toss up between. If if you were to ask me, Cell Saga, Super Saiyan, or uh, Vegeta Clan campaign, I would personally say I would like to see. I think it's probably gonna be a Cell Saga campaign, but I would like to see a Super Saiyan campaign followed by a Cell Saga campaign, and then followed by a Vegeta Clan campaign. All, one of those three is in order of what I would like to see. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys really quick. Uh, so we are here on the 3rd on Saturday. So this next weekly reset, we're going to get a brand new free-to-play character, which, by the way, we should be getting a hint for this free-to-play character, most likely probably to tonight. So I'll keep you guys updated tonight uh, with that for sure. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up. If you did enjoy the video, as always, make sure you guys simply just like and subscribe and be wise while spending on this rest of this GT campaign. If any of this piques your interest, I don't know why my camera is getting dark. What is this? It's like some terrible quality camera. I got to get a new camera. Anyways, um, yeah, have a good one. Peace.